revealed inside the Trump dossier handoff, McCain's Messenger Speaks Out by Christina Layla for thegatewaypundit.com. The man who says he acted as a messenger last year to inform John McCain about the garbage dossier spoke exclusively to Fox News's Catherine Herridge. Fox News reported Fox News spoke to Wood at the 2017 Halifax International Security Forum in Nova Scotia, Canada. As Britain's ambassador to Moscow from 1995 to 2000, Wood witnessed the end of Russian President Boris Yeltsin and the rise of Vladimir Putin. My mission was essentially to be a go-between and a messenger to tell the senator and assistants that such a dossier existed. Sir Andrew Wood told Fox News in an exclusive interview with senior executive producer Pamela K. Brown. In August of 2016, Steele came to me to tell me what was in it and why it was important. Wood said he made it very clear, yes, it was raw intelligence, but it needed putting into proper context context before you could judge it fully. August 2016 is a very important date because this was right after the FBI opened a probe into so-called Russian meddling according to a March testimony by Comey. Former FBI Director James Comey had also just exonerated Hillary Clinton of the email investigation for the first time would confirm that Steele had been in contact with the FBI at the time Herridge reports the handoff as reported by Herridge. Three weeks after Trump won the presidential election at the Canadian Security Conference, the details were finalized for the dossier handoff to McCain. Along with the Senator Wood and McCain Institute for International Leadership staffer David J. Kramer attended the Canadian conference. British court records state McCain ordered Kramer to get a personal briefing from Steele in Surrey, just outside of London, and then return to Washington where Fusion GPS would provide McCain with hard copies. In January, McCain then gave the dossier to the FBI. The FBI had uh, already had a copy from Christopher Steele, but now they were receiving a copy from a sitting senator, giving it more credibility. Herridge also noted, of note listed in the official program for the 2016 November Canadian Conference as a participant was Renat Akhmetshin, the same Russian lobbyist who was at Trump Tower five months earlier in June for a highly scrutinized meeting with Donald Trump Jr. and others. The senator's office noted to Fox News that McCain said in January of 2017 he had no contact with Akhmetshin. Wood also claims he's never read the dossier. Here's a refresher on the garbage dossier as previously reported by the Gateway Pundit. Trump partook in golden showers, quote, in Russia with prostitutes on a bed Obama once slept on. Russia then blackmailed Trump, not by asking for money or influence in his business deals, but by forcing him to run for president against all odds and win. Here is the story that the CIA and the idiots in the fake news media are pushing on America. Here's what they want us to believe. Let's recount. Obama has a meeting in Russia. Trump flies to Russia, finds out the hotel room Obama stayed in, and books it. Trump finds at least two hookers and invites them to Obama's former hotel suite. Trump instructs the hookers to piss on the bed because he hates Obama so much. Little did Trump know, Putin had the entire room outfitted with video cameras. The Russian government now has video proof of Trump watching hookers piss on a bed. Russian government tells Trump 
they will release the video if he does not run for president. Trump runs for president and against all odds and wins the White House. Really? Hillary? Really? McCain? This is even a low for those two political hacks. Shame on McCain and the FBI for taking an unverified document, which was funded by Hillary Clinton, seriously. It is becoming increasingly clear this garbage dossier was used to obtain a FISA warrant to spy on the Trump camp. Everyone involved should be prosecuted. The garbage Hillary funded dossier is one of the biggest scandals to rock D.C. So there you have it. It's not the DNC and the DNC that they keep. It's Hillary Clinton. She funded this. Why they have to mix it up and people taking uh, blame for things. It's Hillary who did this. And McCain was involved in this. Isn't that precious? This is what, and, and let's say Trump did this. I mean, is that enough uh, for uh, the Russian president, which he never would, it's beyond words, it's garbage, uh, that y you would be threatened for? I mean, really? He probably went even faster because a lot of people would like to, you know what, over on Obama. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.